When you pass along the A84 going from Stirling to Creanlaig or Oban, you pass through Loch Ernhead, where you can't help noticing the abutments of a disused railway bridge. Shortly after this, you see a sign on the left announcing Loch Ernhead Station, owned by the Hertfordshire Scouts. It's easy to assume that Loch Ernhead Station was on the former Callender and Oban railway line, but that's not in fact the case. When the Callender and Oban railway was opened in the 1870s, it passed high on the hillside above Loch Ernhead, due to the gradient needed to climb up Glen Ogle. A station was provided for Loch Ernhead two miles to the south towards Balthwidder. In 1905, the Loch Ernhead, St Philans and Comrie railway was constructed to connect the Callender and Oban line with Creef to the east and onwards to Perth. This provided the opportunity to build a station in Loch Ernhead itself, and the earlier station was renamed Balhwida to avoid confusion. It's interesting that the scattering of houses around the site is still known locally as Balhwida Station, even though the station is no longer there. The line between Loch Ernhead and Creef got into financial difficulty very quickly and was taken over by the Caledonian Railway, who also operated the Calendar and Oban line. It gave them the opportunity to advertise scenic circular excursions from Edinburgh and Glasgow, but the summer season is relatively short in Scotland. The line was never busy and closed in 1951. The track was left in situ until 1959 as it was used to carry materials to the Glenletnock hydroelectric scheme. In 1960, Hertfordshire County Council negotiated with British Rail to lease the derelict station and use it as an outdoor activity centre. In 1977, they purchased the station outright from British Rail for a price of £13,000, equivalent to about, to about £86,000 today, so that was a good deal. The station has been maintained in good condition since then, including restoration of the canopy, as well as adaptations to meet the needs of the Scouts. In 2022, further renovations are being undertaken, and I'm grateful to the contractors for allowing me to wander around taking pictures. The goods platform is still visible, although not currently used for anything. There are a number of replica railway publicity posters on the station, from the days when the railway company promoted the local area, in particular Glen Ogle. Loch Erne is visible from the station, and today the station would make an ideal jumping off point for walking or cycling in the area. A couple of miles north of Loch Erne Head is the impressive 12 arch Glen Ogle viaduct. Here the railway clings to the hillside, and a landslide south of the viaduct precipitated the closure of the line between Dunblane and Crean Larrick in 1965. Here are some views of the viaduct, still used as a cycleway and footpath, and Glen Ogle. Extracts from the British Railway's summer 1959 timetable, showing trains from Oban to Glasgow and Edinburgh via Balhwida, and the replacement bus service between Comrie, Loch Ernhead and Balhwida, introduced when the line through Loch Ern had closed. Connections were not very good. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.